today we will be learning about test statistic critical region and critical value so as we all know a statistical test procedure starts with the description of the population and afterwards what we do we formulate or there happens the formulation of null and alternative hypothesis then after that a uh, procedure we have to decide either to accept or reject a null hypothesis based on the sample taken from a population so naturally it is difficult to use the sample as such for this purpose and again it will consist of a number of observations so usually what we do is we find an appropriate function of the sample observation and uh, and the decision to either accept the hypothesis or reject the hypothesis is based on this particular function okay so what is this function called the function is called as a test criteria or test statistic now we divide the range of variation of this test statistic into two region one is the acceptance region and the other one is rejection region so we divide this region into two parts in such a way that the probabilities of the two types of error that we are likely to commit which are the two types of error type 1 and type 2 error should be no uh, should be very small it should not be large the problem the probability of type 1 and type 2 error should not be large so in such a way we will divide the range of variation of the test statistic into two part one is the acceptance region and the other one is the rejection region so in any case if the value of this test statistic calculated from a sample if it falls in the acceptance region then what we will do we accept the hypothesis if it falls in the rejection region then we reject the hypothesis okay so that is what we do after calculating the test statistic now let's have a look at the Uh, definition of critical region the range of variation of test statistic is divided into two regions one is the acceptance region and the other one is rejection region so the rejection region is called as what the critical region the rejection region is known as the critical region and the critical region is also the set of all samples which if selected leads to the rejection of a null hypothesis now let's look at what is a critical value the value of the test statistic that separates the critical region and the acceptance region is called as the critical value now let's have a look at the size of the test the probability of the test statistic falling in the critical region when the hypothesis is true is called as the size of the test so what actually what is the size of size of the test it is also known as the significance level why is it said so because the probability of the test statistics falling in the critical region falling in the critical region means falling in the region where is the critical region the rejection region okay so what is that called the probability of what does that mean or evidently it is known as what the probability of rejecting the null hypothesis when it is true or here we are committing what the probability of or here it is also known as the chance of committing of type 1 error right so again therefore the size of the test or the significance level is called is said to be what the probability of rejecting h not when 
H naught or your null hypothesis is true. So in short the size of the test, significance level, level of significance and the probability of type 1 error is the probability of rejecting H naught when H naught is true. And how will you denote that size of the test as alpha? Okay, 